Okay, we got Parrots, what do you man. Parrots. Like, Parrots, you got to write a book like the da from under the counter. The what? Oh. The da from under the counter. <laughs> yeah, she just said. Yeah, let's go there and see how right they go. Did so anyone see how amazing this town is, by the way? You guys see this campaign for that uh, fellow who was nifter? Yeah, it's up to like almost 600 grand, right? It just crossed 600 grand. And, under, and the camp fund, they raised 50% in two hours. They had all the money already. They didn't raise anything. It was already raised before you went live. Um, I, the other one was uh, pretty impressive. Cost my bubble. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, very I tried to get on to donate today. Of course, my my um, iPhone doesn't let you do the robot thing because of Flash or whatever. So I got to figure out a way to how to get on there to donate. Pick up a check from you, I'll get on. The, I think I'll do it with Safari, not Safari. What's the other one? What's Google's browser? But, do, do, uh, Chrome. Chrome. Or Chrome. do duck, duck, go, Chrome. and then they don't track you. Right. I don't want to be having no um, browsers that can that can get around my filters. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty good, Baruch Hashem. I know. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So ready to roll? Um, nun zayin right? Is that my daughter back there? It's your daughter back there, but she's leaving. Tell her, Don't tell her to stop welcomes her back, but she should leave. <laughs> she, they're going. They're going to my house now, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's been a year already? Oh, gosh. Wow. Yep. Yep. It's crazy. All right. Let's go. All right. So they poured Dhamma Par into the Dhamma Seir. Right. So meaning after they finish sprinkling the... Now they, the Kohen Godel, right? So after the Kohen Godel finished sprinkling the blood of the Seir and the Par, he mixes them together. At least what it, that's what it sounds like in the Mishnah. He mixes them together, and then he goes and he puts them onto the Mizbech, right? So Tanan, Kemandom and Ma'arv in the Kronos. We have a Mishnah that says, like the one who says that you mix, you mix the bloods before he puts it onto the Kronos literally means to the to the Karen. The Karen is a, a horn, right? But it really mean the corners of the of the Mizbeach. That's called Kronos, and that's where the Kohen Godel has to go. You know, there he doesn't sprinkle the blood. We'll see in the next Mishnah on Amabez, he doesn't sprinkle the blood, he smears the blood. Right? But we're saying to have a mission that says, like the one that says that you mix the bloods together first. The Itmar, There's a machloik as Rabbi Yosha and Rabbi Yonison. Chadom or Ma'arvin. Chadom or Engmar. One says, you mix the blood together. The Chadam or Eimar, and one says you don't mix the blood together. So the Gemara says this time the Rav Yoshi Yehudam and Marvin. Let's say that Rav Yoshi is the one that says that you mix the bloods together before you put on the Zayach Tamar. That he says Afagav the like Siv Yachtov, even though it doesn't say Yachtov Kemand the Siv Yachtov Dami. It's as if it said it together. So what is this talking about? So Rashi brings the Gemara in Sanhedrin that the pasuk says is that when a man Curses as aviv ve as imoy. Says he, so it sounds like from the pasuk that if somebody curses his mother and his father, right, then then he's liable, right? It's mashma that he has to curse the mother and the father, right? That's it's mashma. He has to, the mother and the father. He has to curse. If he only curses the mother or the father, it's not, not a problem, right? So that's a Rabbi Yashia there holds that it's not that's not the case, right? Right. Yeah. So if it, so, the, therefore, if the pasuk wouldn't have said it together, then you would have thought that each one is is if the pasuk wouldn't have separated later, so then you would have thought that each one is uh, is together, right? So meaning, point is, the Rabbi Yashia over there says it means that they're together, the father and the mother, um, even though it doesn't say yachtov. In the beginning of the pasuk, you would think that it is together, that it is together. So again, so to start the Riyashu Dom Marvin, Domar, that he says, Avagav the like Siv Yachtov, even though it doesn't say Yachtov, Command the Siv Yachtov Dom, it's as if it does say Yachtov. Right? So it must be Rabbi Yashu, the same thing that he says there means Yachtov. It means the mother and the father together. So then by the blood also, when it says sprinkle the blood, it means the blood of the par and the blood of the seer together. See Yaakov. Yeah. Excuse me. The the Rabyoshin and Rabyoshin Rabyoinison. 
what they're saying is that have to do with anything else in shots. They're having my like is how the Tai Chi took them. We right. had we went already what we had 1200 years of Mishkan and Beis Migdash. So one of them is learning the Psukim wrong, and one of them is learning Psukim right. It has nothing to do with anything else. Like what? What? What, what is it? What is it? I mean, it's not. It's not the Machlokes Lamais. It's Machlokes about the past. What happened in the past? So one of them touched the Psukim right, and one of them touched the Psukim wrong. That's all. It's like. Yeah, yeah, right. This is the same thing that we had in yesterday, right? It's similar to yesterday too, where Rebbe Lazar said, "I witnessed that it, that the he witnessed that the blood was on the parochus," and the and the Chacham still disagreed with him. Yeah, okay, well, right? I don't know. I, I, yeah, you're right. This is a machlokes in the psukim, and and a machlokes of exactly what they did in the base of Mikdash. Yeah, I, I yeah, I don't know. So anyway, so the Gemara wants to say that Rebbe Yoshia is the one. Who, since he says that the mother and father in the beginning of the pasuk would be mashma together, that you'd have to curse the mother and father together, even though it doesn't say the words yachtav. So, so too here, here too, we would say that it's the blood of the seir and the par together. So, and so that would be Rabbi Yashia. So the Mura says, no, if you look at Rabbi Yonison, it could really be Rabbi Yonison who doesn't say that they're automatically together. Um, here it's different. It's different. Achas. It says the word achas, right? So since it says the word achas, which is, again, achas there doesn't mean achas once. It mean, I mean, it means once, but it means once a year. This goes on once a year, right? Achas pashana v'loishtayim, and not two. So since it happens once a year, so that means you have to mix together the blood of the seir and the blood of the parah. Otherwise, it's not once a year. It's going to be twice a year. Right? So we have a special pasuk to tell you that it should be together. So therefore, we have no proof who holds what. Fine. So then the Gemara um, tries to, um, to continue with this. Tanya, the loy kishinuyan. Right? And we have a brysa that's not like the answer. Yeah? Meaning, the brysa, we just said that maybe Rabbi Yonison holds you mixed the bloods because it says achas. Right? So you say, Tanya, the loy kishinuyan. We not we have not like our answer because it says You have to take the blood from the par and, and from the goat. That means that they should be mixed together. That's what Rabbi Yashia says. So you see Rafairish that it's Rabbi Yashia that says it. Rabbi Yonison, he takes from the blood of the par by itself and the blood of the seer by itself. Some of the Rabbi Yashia. Yeshua said to Rabbi Yonison, "Rabbi Kfar Nemar Achas," but it says Achas it, that you that you put it onto the Mizbeach once. That means once a year, which is you mix. It must be you mix together the blood of the par and the blood of the seir. On Raloi, Rabbi Yonison, Rabbi Yonison said to him, "Raloi Kfar Nemar Midam Ha'Par Midam Asir," but it says from the blood of the par and from the blood of the seir. That sounds like two different times. So Gemara says, "Im Kain Lama Nemar Achas." If that's the case, then why are you saying Achas? So it's telling you once and not twice from the par, meaning once you only put the blood on once from the par and and once and not twice from Dama Seir, but it does not mean that you don't, you, you don't, you can't put on two twice. You can't put on the blood twice, meaning once from the par, once from the seer. Again, the Pasuk is telling us that you only put the blood of the par on once a year, and you only put the blood the blood of the seir on once a year. That's all. You don't. It's so you could. They don't have to be mixed together. Fine. Tanya ida. We learned another brayso. Velokam itama par umidama seir, and you take from the dam of the par and the the dam of seir. You murav and zebazeh, so they should be mixed together. Atoimer shi you murav and zebazeh. Ayena elam mizeh bepnei atzma mizeh bepnei atzma. Should they be mixed together or should it be each one independent? So, Tama Loimar, Achas, it says once, the Stam Rav Yashia, and the Stam, a Stam Brisa goes with uh, Rav Yashia, right? So, bottom line is Rav Yashia is the one that holds that they mixed the bloods together before they put it on the Mizbeach, and Rav Yainisen is the one that holds that they did not. Fine. Okay, good. Now that's not next to you. So, so the Mishnah says, so what do they do? Then they take the full 
cup, full, not cup, the full uh, bucket or whatever it is. All right, and then they put it into the empty one. So now, what does this mean? So, because the Gemara asks the Shaila, "Bamine Rabbi Rami Bar Chama Mirav Chista." Rami Bar Chama asks Rav Chista, "Hiniach Mizrak Pesach Mizrak." Let's say instead of pour, well, see, it's interesting because if you learn the Mishnah, you think, okay, he poured, he poured one into the other, or the whole thing into an empty one. The Gemara is asking, no, what happens if he instead of pouring it, he took one cup or one one bucket? and put it into the other bucket, the whole bucket he put in, meaning, here, I got two cups, right? So you have one, you take, you take one empty one, and you put the entire thing in like that, not pouring, in like that. What would be the din then? Right? If it kibble by a Saddam, and then he's makabal the dam. Yeah, mahu. What's the din? Yeah? Um, is this considered a chatzitza or not? Meaning, the blood has to be caught in a cup, right? Now, if you put in another cup, yeah? So now this is the cup that you're holding in your hand. That has to be a cup that's held in your hand. So that's supposed to be, the blood is supposed to be there. Now you go and put in another cup and then you put the blood in. This cup is a separation. It's a chatzitza, right? Just like for mikvah, you can't have any stickers on your cup. So here you have two cups, one inside the other. So is that a chatzitza? But the only Didn't thing we have is, something like this? Do we have something like this that it's mikai chai? We discussed an idea of mikai chai that it comes mikai chai. Yeah, but I don't know if that has to do with this because this is here as you're receiving it. Here you're receiving right, it. so you're receiving it mikai chai. Is it, is it a okay. shaila of uh, klisharis that has to be with it? either one's a klisharis, right? True, yeah, yeah. But I, I so don't know. So it's just a question sure. of, of are you actually receiving it? So why don't you say mikai chai? That it came, you are receiving it with, by, by, by having it in a. Uh, by, ha- by, by having holding a utensil that holds the utensil. No, but the thing is, you have to take it. So it says, you have to take it. So you're the- still taking it. It's right there. Right. Um, so what if you're not actually, it's not actually the kli that's holding is not touching it, your hand? It's you're, you're, you're accepting it. It's not like it's not being accepted from your kaya. Correct, but the, I don't. I don't. I don't remember the koicha. You have to be touching the kli that actually catches it. Like why? Does that's that what it seems. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I'm you saying, but why don't you say an idea of mikayach that it came from? I don't know because I don't know, I don't know if this is a koicha thing. I don't know if this is a koicha thing. I think well, this is. No you're not actually accepting it. You're you. Either way, you're using a kli to accept it. Correct, but you're supposed to. So be then, what does it matter the if it's mikayachai that you're holding the kli or mikayachai that you're holding a kli that holds the kli? What's the difference? Both of them are really mikai chai. You're using something else to catch it. Right. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if kai chai is the... Is either it the, is, because you're using something else to catch it. So either way, it's from your kai that you're catching. Right. But there's still a chatzitza. Why should it matter if it's inside something else? You're, you're catching it with something. So you would say gloves would be fine? If the gloves could hold it, what's the difference? You're you're making up this rule about koiche. Who Rabbi Stein didn't say that? I'm not making it up. There's this idea. No, I'm saying you, can you find them? Play many times. Can, I don't remember. Can you find the source? Can you find? I'm it? almost positive we came across this even when it comes to Avoida, but I, I'm going to try be? to look back. <laughs> at it. Akiva, we could have had I'm it just yesterday. Saying, <laughs> we could have had it yesterday, and I don't remember. There's no chiddush. No, all right, fair. <laughs> me too. But I'm just saying, either way, you're using a kli. I don't. Th- I don't think it's just a vayt svara. No, I hear what you're saying. It's a kli, and it's the same type of kli. The truth is correct, right? I hear, I hear. But so, so what? But again, what the kasha is, what not the kasha, what the gemara shaila is, is is the two of the same type considered a chatzitza, right? Because it's the same kli, right? So is that considered a chatzitza or not? Right? Min beminoi chatzitza or ain't chatzitza. Meaning, if you took a kli made out of earthenware, well, it was probably gold. But let's say you take what I'm saying it was a gold kli, right? Or silver, and then you put in an earthenware kli. Then for sure, the Gemara says that's a chatzitza, right? Because that's not that's not what's supposed to be, right? But here it's min bemino. It's the same exact thing. So is min bemino chatzitza or not? So Amar back in the Gemara, so the Gemara says Amar Lei said to Nisua, we learned it. Nasan is some malay berekon, right? If you take a full bowl into the empty bowl, what does that mean? Not, not if you put, you do put, right? Afterwards, he takes the mole and puts it into a rekon. My love, hoishiv, mizrak, mole, lesoich, mizrak, rekon. Is that not talking about? Where you take a mizrak, a bowl that's full of blood, and you put it into the other bowl. Right? 
So the man says, Loi, no, that's not what it means. It means Ira Mizrak Malak Mizrak Begun. You poured it. Meaning, I don't know, the way I understood it in the Mishnah, I imagine the most that I understood it that way too. It was talking about where you, we thought you talking about where you actually poured the blood. Right? Here, the Gemara in the in the Mahabamina here thinks, no, you didn't pour the blood. You put the whole utensil full of blood into this one, which is not what the Gemara is saying. It ends up saying that you poured it. Tysus actually asked a couple of different kashas from, from the Gemara and Psachim, right? That uh, that one of the Kehanim wrapped his hands in uh, shmatas in order to grab things. And, and by Lulav, by Lulav also, if, can you hold uh, that you, if you have things in your hand when you're holding Lulav and Esek, it's a chatzitza, it's not a chatzitza. Okay, either way. Yeah, in Psachim, he got his hand chopped off. And right. Right, that's true. Yeah. I forgot about that. Right, okay. <laughs> very good. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. What? Why, why oh, did they phone. pour from? Yeah. Sorry. Why did Why did they pour from the full one into the empty one? Because it was more space. I thought they just wanted to get mixed. So pour the one with less into the full. It's the quicker yeah. way to do it. One with less into the full. I thought it just meant from one clee to another clee that was empty. I didn't know if there was one that more a full clee to an empty clee. The Dhamma Par had more than the Dhamma Soy. There was more blood. Right. Is this a common comma bottle thing? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know, know if I'm understanding, but how could there be something in the other clea and then and then we're saying no, he put it into the other clea? The whole clea into the other clea and there was something in there? No, there was nothing in there. I mean, okay. no, he, no, Gershon's asking according to the Mascona that you poured it. Okay. Right? So you poured it and then poured it the other way. I hear. Okay, let's see if I Um, so the Gemara says, Atanale Reisha. We said that already in the Reisha. You pour the Dhamma Par. Into the Dhamma Seir. So Gemara says, no, you're doing it twice. You want to mix it in very well. Right? So, so that's why you pour it twice. You pour once into one clean, and then you go pour it into another clean. Okay. So that's the Gemara. That's what the Gemara says. It's Masha from this Gemara that it would be a Chatzitza. Right? Yeah, that's that's what it seems like the Maskonas of the So Toshima, so then the next uh, let's let's uh, bring a raya. Let's say the Kayan, right? The Kayan has to have barefoot, he has to be barefoot in the base of the Let's say he's standing on top of the Kli when he's doing the Avaida. Or he's stepping on his friend's feet. So then puzzle. Then whatever Avaida he's doing at that point is puzzle because it's a chatzitza. Right? So so what do you see? But a foot and a foot is the same type. Right? What was our whole question? That it's min bimina. It's the same. Two types is makes a chatzitza. So what do you mean? One person's foot is the same as another person's foot? So our answer, shani regal A foot is different because it can't be bottle there. Meaning you can't, the guy's not going to stand there the whole, for the rest of his life. Right? Or for the rest of the avoida. So it's going to, it's going to move. So therefore that's considered a chatzitza. Right? But, uh, but uh, Kli, right? Well, he's going to move it before the he's going to move his foot before the Kli moves his foot. That's what it's saying. No, no, but it's his foot is not there for the duration of the avoda, or very possible that it won't be there. Mashenke in a bowl will will be there, meaning it'll be there until if he puts one bowl into another bowl, it'll stay there for the rest of his life until he removes it, right? But if he's if he's standing on on a different Kli's feet. That client's feet, I, I don't know if it means that he's going to move it first, but it's certainly going to be uncomfortable and he's going to end up moving. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, the, the, he would have cover to the coin God, but he wouldn't move his foot till the coin God will move the way. No, but I think even so, since this fellow is not going to be standing there all day, so okay. therefore, right? That's. Uh, that's that's the way I'm understanding, which I think comes out. Let's say you don't have a yamaka, right? So you're not you know putting your hand on top of your head to, to make a bracha doesn't work, but taking your friend's hand to put it on top of your head does work. 
Now, I don't know. Again, it's it's why is it's, that again? I knew you discussed it because but... because it's a different it's a different body. Your own body cannot be considered a cover to your own body. What about if you have a long shirt? Shirt is That's not why people head. hold a shirt above with their arm like this. Oh yeah, like that with the shirt on your head. You want to do that? There's a separation. Because that's a that's that's a different men this shirt. But what do you mean? What's a different men? A shirt. You have a shirt on your head. A long shirt. With a shirt like this, and you go like this. Right. So that's a long shirt. shirt. When you pull. When you pull the shirt down, so then that's no problem because that's a different thing. But that's what's funny. You see a guy without his shirt go like this. That doesn't help. Right? Why? Doesn't if help. That's the joke. If right? The shirt, you see, what do you mean? If the shirt goes all the way down? No, if his shirt, yeah, but if he's got his, like me now, and I put my hand on my head, that's nothing. Right. No different than the hand. It's only because you're pulling down your sleeve. So you go like this. You hold it like that because that's how you get your sleeve down to your but right, no, but uh, it's fine. Yes, yes, yeah. But uh, okay, <coughs> fine. Igadamri, I think tomorrow. Igadamri, hafi boy mine. He asked it a different. He asked the same shaila, but with a different, a different way. Hafi boy mine. Derek sheirus bekach. Is that the way that you do sheirus? Meaning sheirut. Uh, uh, How do you call it? Uh, is that the way you do the Avaidah? That's what it really means. Is that the way you would serve somebody? I guess that would be. Is that the way you would serve somebody? Or ain't there a Or is it not? Meaning, would you take two bowls and pour blood or whatever a waiter would be doing? Would it, the two bowls, is that considered respectful or not? All right? So, no. Tashima. I mean, this is not about Khatitsa. Just Terech. Yeah, this, this, right. This version of the Gemara is the not a Khatitsa issue. It's considered, is this etiquette i guess is this the proper etiquette to take two bowls or not so tashima the ton of the shmol has called kli asharis to show you so subambakaidish all the clay sharis all the holy kalim that were in the base of mikdash shnei kalim for shayru sachas so the gemara the pasuk is saying clay sharis right um plural well the eastern is right? take two cups to drink their coffee when they take the whole extra holder from the Starbucks to hold the coffee. You said they don't burn themselves. Yeah, they can't hold the cup of coffee. Cash is not really etiquette, is it is the avoid the good. Right, but the avoid is gonna be based on is that a about cover dicker thing to do or not? Has to do with cover dicker or that's to do with uh it's not a din in the the I mean ultimately it's a din in the avoid. We we're sitting here the whole humor telling you every prat of the avoid. And how it should be done. So the cash is, is this avoid done properly? And the way you know it is depending on the way people serve royalty in, in, in plates. That's exactly, it's exactly what you're saying. No, that, right. That's, that's, the avoid is going to be based on how humans deal with these things. They that's bring down from the, a Rashi and Zvachim that says that, that it's based what? on what's normal. Based on what the norm, okay, yeah, right. That's uh, yeah, that's so very good. Thank serving. you. Yeah. So the Gemara, so the pasuk says, as kol kli hashares, kli is plural, hashares is singular, right? So if kli is plural and hashares is singular, sounds like shnei kalim b'sherus achas. It's one sir, it's one sherus, and two kalim. So therefore, it's uh. That's it's a raya that you can use to you can use to, yeah. Fine. It seems so. Why didn't they bring this in the raya team. before? No, because this is a different. This is a whole different shaila. I mean, ultimately, it's the same. You mean why didn't they bring it in the raya? Isn't the shaila predicated on min b'mina heinechaitis? Well, this but this version of shaila has nothing to do with min b'mina. It's just of course it's the it same does. shaila. It's the same shaila, but the gemara is not handling min b'mina. It's not the same shaila. The gemara is going on the side that even if you hold. That you have to hold mid but still it's not it's not a normal behavior. This is imtim to Laimar. Uh, it's not. That's the, the Gemara doesn't say the Gemara is saying how is could it, it, how, if mid heights, how is it possible to say it, 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 it could work? No, so you, you're gonna have to say that Midbamina is not heights, it's according to this, but it's not an imtim. So then why don't we bring this to Mariah? I don't know. I don't know. Why didn't the first why didn't the first yeah, I don't know. All right. Um, 
Actually, one second, one second, I forgot. Hold on. I think Tysus Yishonim asks you, Kasha. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, what's going on here with Tysus Yishonim? No, it's, it's all messed up, the Tysus Yishonim. It's on the next number, at least in my Gemara. Okay, whatever it is. I'll look into Tysus Yishonim. Fine. Okay. Next Shaila. Bomine Rami Barchama Bar Ravchista. So Rami Barchama asked a asked a uh Shaila from Ravchista. In near Siv Besaicha Mizrak, Naftali Naftali posted a question. This is more Negea to Pesach. We had this in our we didn't have something similar in Arabic Sakha. If you put a sieve, so sieve is some sort of leaf or whatever it is. Right? Um uh Besaicha Mizrak, you put you line the, the bowl with whatever this thing is. I don't know, some sort of natural line. Isn't this, this That's is the thing we had a hundred times, the, the stuff that grows around the, 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 the palm, palm trees. trees. Yeah. A bark, yeah. a bark, a bark. I don't it's think not, it's bark, it's I think it's No, soft. no, it's, it's a plant green, that grows around the bottom of the bark. It's green fiber, it's green fiber yeah. that grows around. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, you put this stuff, you lined inside the bowl, so, the kibbutz is Adam. Ma, what's it in then? Min b'she'ena mina chaytzitz. I ain't a chaytzitz. Is min b'she'ena mina chaytzitz or not chaytzitz? Right, because now it's different. It's a different min. Meaning the previous kamara shaila was if it's the same min. Here it's a different min. You took this palm, whatever, these leaves or whatever these things, this fiber, and you lined your bowl with it. So that's a different min. So is that a is that a chaytzitz or not? So. Kivan the mechalchal loy chayetz, since it's mechalchal, it it's uh, absorbent, meaning the liquid will be touching the walls of the bowl, even though it's like it's like a sponge, sort of like a sponge. So not a sponge, like a paper, whatever. It's it's porous. It's porous. It, so it could be like a, like a. a... It could be like a filter in a coffee machine. Oh, very good, like an insert, filter. like an insert. An insert, yeah. What do we say the Gabi Shabbos and Chatzitza? Didn't we say the Gemara and Shabbos, the Gabi Chatzitza, the hair, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it's considered, uh, or the Gemi, we said the Gabi Gemi, or. Yeah, yeah. You go yeah into we Mikmi. also had it by, right. So we also had it by Mara, right? No, if you, Mara or Matzah, do we have that? You put it, you put it, or you, you wrap it in something and swallow it. Do we have that? Well, the Gabi, yeah. the Gabi, the taste. The Gabi, the, the taste, right. So, it, right. so it doesn't, it doesn't go down your throat. Right, this is Negei also to the Machmirim who hold that you're not allowed to take the gel caps, which is becoming very popular gel caps. Right, so the Machmirim say, so you wrap it in a uh, tissue. In a lace a top, thing. you wrap the gel. Oh, you wrap very good. You <laughs> yeah, because every, there's plenty to go around. Right. Not us. <laughs> yeah, so and now it's also, I mean, so it's plenty to go around. So you take that and you wrap the medicine. So the, the reason why that works is because the trafe is not touching your throat because it acts as a chatzitza between the medicine, the trafe, and the throat, right? Anyways, so, so but the shaila is here. It's definitely a different min. So is it a chatzitza or not? Meaning because it's porous, so the mice of the blood is going to touch the, 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 wall, the walls of the bowl. I do no, we don't care. The chatzitza is a chatzitza. So Malay said to Nina, we learned it. Zaylef, Bahailach, Achamagil is fug. You you take the water until you reach the, the sfug, and then that and that's it. Meaning, so this is talking about when you're taking the water for the what do you call it? For the paraduma. So you got to draw the water from the paraduma and you got to take it into a cle. That's part of the avoid of the paraduma. What happens if you put like some sort of uh, sponge on the bottom of it? Right? So that water is gonna never that water is being blocked from on the bottom of the kli from touching the kli, right? Which is similar to our Gemara. So the Gemara says there that pour use the water from the kli, the top water, but not pour out. Let's say again, you have a you have a kli, right? And then the bottom of it is a sponge. Till here is a sponge. So then you fill it up with the water and then you pour. Right, you fill up the water till here. Where let's say the sponge level is here, right? So you pour out the water until it reaches the sponge level. But the water that's absorbed in the sponge doesn't work, 
right? Um, but it's not going to passle. It's not going to passle the water that's in the kli. So since it's not going to passle the water that's in the kli, so then here too, it should not. It should not make mess with the blood that's in the that's in the kli. That's it. And the Gemara answers no shine shani maya the klishi, right? Water is is what do you call it? Is lighter, right? Meaning, so the water will go through a sponge, but blood is thick, right? Blood is thicker than water. So since blood is thicker than water, so the blood of the animal with this this absorbent thing that's inside the the bowl is not going to necessarily penetrate there. So that this sieve is going to be a chatzitza, right? I mean, even though it may not be a chatzitza by water, that's because water goes through, those goes through this sponge easier. But blood does not. Blood is thicker than water, right? That's that's a metzius, right? Blood is thicker than water. Fine. Igadamri, oh, there's See, I always, <laughs> I'm sorry for disturbing you, but you sound like your grandmother, Allah Hashem. I was trying to remember that, right? Yeah. Well, well, she said something. She said it about her sister-in-law, who she was tight like this, and they never went anywhere. But it was only her sister-in-law. It's only water, not blood. <laughs> right, right, blood. Right. <laughs> I knew there was something in my head, and it sounded very familiar. <laughs> That's Bobby Karamba. There you go. Okay, very good. <laughs> right. So you get the Amri, Haki Right. There's a. This is the way he said pshat. Bedam kosher. Right? By dam, it's kosher, meaning the opposite of what we just said. It's it's going to be, it's going to, it's not going to be a chatzitza, but koimitz, by koimitz, by the flour, then that is going to, that's going to make a psal, because koimitz, flour, right? Um, you have to put it into a kli, right? If you, take, you take the handful of, of flour and you got to put it into a kli. If this, this sieve is going to be in that kli, then that's obviously going to Block it, right? That's not. It's not going through any sort of absorbent thing. So therefore, um, he's isn't that a pshita? Yeah, yeah. But like what he's saying he is that kabbalah's dam. But what you're saying is that the kabbalah of dam and the kabbalah of of the flour into a kli. Flour represents blood. By a carbon mincha, flour is the equivalent of the blood, right? So. So that's why he's comparing the flour to the blood. By blood, though, it would be kosher because it's it's less than when comparing it to flour. That's always, I don't think he's saying a chiddush in that way. He's just saying you compare the blood to flour, and you're and then and the, in that way the blood is is weaker, right? So this it comes out to the three higher. levels. It comes out three levels. There's water that's weakest, then there's blood, and then there's uh, flour, right? Although I don't know, I could see flour going through. Flour maybe it might penetrate a little bit. No, it's this. There's such small grains. No, yeah, but it's okay. mixed with oil. He has to take shemen olivina. Right, but is that is that coming afterwards? Isn't that coming afterwards? Is it talking about before that? No, or both it's talking but about it's both. At, the kmitz is only after shemen olivina. Right. Yes, take from all three. On car, it so, depends on the mincha. Some minchas, it's 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 with the shaman. Some are not. It's ready ball. Some are not. Depends on right. the mincha. Is that? Uh, I should. Uh, well, I should the one know. that's not is cooked already. It's even worse. It's it's baked. It's kazesim of crumbs. Yeah, that's the machvas and marcheshes. It's already baked. That's why there's no shaman. It's already used. So that's. That's not a gay bichlal. They're all solids. It seems that the, the, the first the first ikadamri here makes a difference in viscosity, and the second one just says the only chilik you can make is liquid versus solid. Solid is right. a chatzitza, liquid is no chatzitza. Yeah. Right. But that's what I hear what Akiva is saying. Like, why are you bringing in flour into this? Why is flour even brought into this equation? What does it have to do with anything? But anyway. It's just saying solid versus liquid. Yeah, okay, but it's not negay. The shot, it's just a matter of whether is the blood is a chatzitza or not. So according to the first version of Gemara, blood, there would be a chatzitza. According to the second version, blood is not a chatzitza. Right? I guess it's Ikadam because he was comparing blood to something. So in the first shot, it's comparing blood to water. In the second shot, where his blood is more lenient, he's, he's comparing it to flour. That's what you have to say. Okay. Yeah, Zokta Mishnah. 
Yeah. So then what's the next thing we do? Um, he goes and he brings the blood to the Mizbeah. And then he puts it onto the Mizbeah. Right? The last mission was talking about how he's macabre the blood. Now he carries the blood over to the Mizbeah and he puts the blood on there. So V'yotzal HaMizbeah, Asher Lefnei Hashem. And he goes to the Mizbeah that's in front of Hashem. Zem Mizbeah Hazov, that's the, the golden Mizbeah, that's the smaller one. Where they where they put the ketores on it. That's the that's the that's what you do with that bezbeir. Hischil mechata v'yorid. So he begins to to uh, smear the blood as he goes down. When he puts it on the top of each corner, right? There's four corners of the bezbeir, and he puts it at the top and he goes down, right? Mehechan hu maschil. For which corner which corner does he start? Meperim bezrochet tzvaynis. He starts from the northeast. Then he goes to Tzvaynes Maravis, northwest, Maravis Dreymis to the, to the southwest, and Dreymis Mizrachis, and then to the southeast. Fine. Wherever he starts, when he does a, a carbon chatas on Mizbech Achitzan, yeah? that's where he finishes in the Mizbech Apnimi. Yeah, I'm not sure why the Mishnah has to tell us this. But we're okay, but wherever, wherever he starts putting the blood from the chatas on the outer mizbeach, and that's the big one with the ramp, right? So then that's where he finishes by, on the inner mizbeach, right? Fine. Rebbe Lezor, is, because we had the kasha on the outer mizbeach earlier. Why does he why pass? He, he had, why, which way around he goes? Right. He has to go that way around. This is, can I get that? He goes straight in. He goes, this is the first corner awesome. he gets. Right, so we have to okay, see the Gemara. Right, so the Gemara is going to ask that. The Gemara is going to ask, like, what's going on with that? Fine, let's see. Rabbi Yezer Aymer, Rabbi Yezer says he stands in one place. I Meaning the Tanakhama, even though it's not clear that the Tanakhama says this, but the Tanakhama says that the Kayan walks around to each corner of the Mizbeach and he smears the blood on it. Rabbi Yezer says, no, he doesn't walk around. This, this Mizbeach is an Amma by an Amma. By an, right, it's, a, it's an Amma by an Amma. So therefore, right? Isn't it an Amma by an Amma? I think so. Anyways, he stands in one place and he, he doesn't have to walk around. He just puts the blood on each corner, right? Machata, and then he, he does it. And on all the corners, he goes from bottom to the top, right? The Tanakhama held, he smears it from the top to the bottom. And really, as I saying, he goes from the bottom to the top. Except for the corner that he's right in front of it. There he puts it from the top to the bottom. See, Yaakov, the big, the Mizbeach inside was an armor. This is a big Mizbeach. No, he's a, no, this is the, the inner Mizbeach. This is Mizbeach Azov. I thought he was going out. The Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 it's a good, right, because yeah, the Mishnah, yeah. right, then the Mishnah, the next line says, where he finished by the outer, he goes back, that's where he starts from the inner, so it throws, it throws, <coughs> it throws you off a little bit, but this is on the inner, the inner one, the golden, the, the Mizbeach Azov from inside. But anyway, so Rabbi holds on the on the on the other three corners that are far away from him. He goes from the bottom to the top. But the one that's right next to him, there he goes from the top to the bottom. Because otherwise, Rashi says he's going to get himself. It's going to make a mess of himself, right? If it's right in front of him and he goes from the bottom to the top, yeah. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's fine. So then he's al tarish shomus be'ach shevavam, and then. After that, he does again a sprinkling on the Tarish right? Which is the top of the Mizbeach, that that's called the Tahara. He sprinkles the blood seven times. The Shiori Adam, and then the rest of the blood. The Mizbeach, the, the Mizbeach Achitza, now he goes back out, right? And the Mizbeach Achitza, there's, it's like, uh, the bottom is a slightly wider on the on the west. Is it the northwest? How does it go? It's only on one side. No, it makes an L. It's an L. It's the northwest or the southwest. I don't remember which one. One of them starts starts from the northeast and goes down to the southwest. Okay, that was a nice way to make it sound really confusing, but uh, <laughs> whatever is it right? It makes an L shape. It makes an L shape, definitely on the west side of the Mizbeah. That's it over my brain, but that's all I can understand. On the west side of the Mizbeah, it has like an extra, it sticks out an Amo, right? And then it makes an L shape. So that's called the Yusoy. 
So there you pour all the the, the blood, the, all the, the leftover base. blood. Like a base. What? Like a base. Like a base, yeah. It's a slight, uh, well, it's not, I mean, it sticks out. So look, it's not really a base because it doesn't go on the other side. But yeah. Um, but whenever he has to put blood on them, he would put it onto the south. So it's southwest. It's on the south and the west side. There you go. Fairish, right? So he puts it on the south side. Right. Elu ve'elu. And then both of these mizbeachs, mizbeachos, misarvin ba'ama, they would get together. There's an ama. Uh, an ama doesn't mean a measurement here. It means a river, a stream that went through. The yotz and the nachal kidron. And then it went out to the, to the nachal kidron, which is, we already had that, how, how high the nachal kidron gets, like on, on the, the young, channel. Right, or a channel, there you go. It goes out, not the channel, not YouTube channel, right? The channel meaning the, the water, the water that goes out, right? And v'nim koran l'ganin l'zevel, and then they sell all the blood to the gardeners for, for zevel, for fertilizer, and if somebody uses it without buying it, then that's considered hektish, and he's over on me'ilah. He does it by mistake. He's over on me'ilah, which the Gemara is going to discuss in a couple of blood. How could it be? It's the avoid is done. There shouldn't be no. More, there should be no more me'ilah. But again, the blood goes flows out of the base of mikdash into the nachal kidron, and then they sell it to the farmers. They sell it to the farmers for for uh, fertilizer. But if a farmer takes it without buying it, then he's going to be over on me'ilah because uh, he's using it without permission. Okay. So zog the Torah and he goes out to the Mizbeach. Why is it, what is it, what is it telling us? Right, what's the go out? What does it mean to be Yotza Ela Mizbeach? What does it have to say that for? So I'm going to mitzvahs. When a par that comes on all mitzvahs, which is just a code name for a par, that if the Kayin Gadol makes a mistake in Psak, right, that somebody would be Chayiv Karas for, right? Then he has to bring a special carbon. So that's called par haba al kol mitzvah. Shakayin oimid chutz lemizbeach. There the kayin stands away from the mizbeach, right? Umaza ala paroiches, and he sprinkles it towards the paroiches, right? Not on it, but towards the b'shashu umaza. Um, um, he 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 puts it umaza paroiches b'sha. Um, am I not reading that right? Yeah. Mazal Paraychis, and he sprinkles it onto the Paraychis. Um, the Shashu was while he sprinkled it. Yochal Av Zekain. So you would think that that's the same thing here, that he doesn't go close. He stands far away and he sprinkles it on. So Tamalaymar, but Yotel Mizbech, no, he goes to the Mizbech. He's actually putting it on there, right? He actually puts it on there. He doesn't throw the blood towards it. He actually puts it on Heichan Haya, right? So where was he when he sprinkled on lifnim in amizbeach? He was bef- he was before literally means before the mizbeach, meaning he was between the mizbeach and the paroiches. Fine. So tiny either. We have another brayso lifnei Hashem. It says in front of Hashem, right? So he has to put it onto the mizbeach in front of Hashem. Matam leimer. What's it coming to tell us? Amar Rav Nechemi lefisha metzino b'par v'seir shal yemekipurim. Right by the par in the sir shayom kibur shakayin oimid lufnim in amizbeach that the kain gadol actually stands inside the mizbeach umazal aparayches peshashu umazal and he sprinkles it onto the mizbeach onto the uh, onto parayches when he's sprinkling it right yochal af so meaning this is the opposite so maybe you would think that by the by the uh, uh, what do you call it. Parabah kolam mitzvahs, you would think you do it just like on Yom Kippur. Yachal af zekain. So, so too you do that here. Tama learn mizbeach ketoyres hasamim pnei Hashem asher ba'el moed. Says you put it on the mizbeach of the ketoyres hasamim, putting on the the incense, which is the mizbeach hazav, right? Lefnei Hashem ba'el moed. Mizbeach lefnei Hashem. The mizbeach is in front of Hashem. Ve'en kain lefnei Hashem. The mizbeach is in front of Hashem. The kain's not. The kain's standing further away. And he's sprinkling it. Okay, Tzad, what, how does it go? Aymid chutz mizbeach umaza. He stands far away from the mizbeach and he sprinkles it. Fine. Okay, so that's the difference between the par haba kala mitzvahs 
where he stands further away and sprinkles it and, and the par and the seir of the, of the Yom Kippur. Fine. So Hischel Mechat So what he does is he starts smearing the blood on each corner from the top and then he goes down. Right? So Tanar Abon. Yeah, Hischel Mechat He starts to, to, to smear it and going down. Mehechon Hayim where is he? Where is he starting from? Mikaron Mizrachis, Troimis. He starts from the east southeast. Troimis Maravis, then southwest Maravis Tzvaynis, northwest Tzvaynis Mizrachis, northeast. Divrei Rebbe Kiva. That's Rebbe Kiva. Hell, Rebbe Yosef Glili. I'm no. Mikaron Mizrachis Tzvaynis. He starts from the northeast, then Tzvaynis Maravis, northwest Maravis Troimis, southwest Troimis Mizrachis, southeast. And then the Malkum Shir Rebbe Yosef Glili Maschil. The place that Rabbi Yosei Aglili said to start, right, which is the, the northeast, Shom Rabbi Kiva Paisik, that's where Rabbi Kiva says you end, right? Rabbi Kiva says you end on the northeast. Malkin Rabbi Kiva Maschil, and where Rabbi Kiva says the Kayan Gadol starts, which corner he starts, Shom Rabbi Yosei Aglili Paisik, that's where Rabbi Yosei Aglili stops, right? Again, I'm not so sure why the Gemara has to say this. Well, so what? So it happens to be that where one Stops the other one. Stops. I don't. I don't have that clear. Either way, the coolie here, the one, here it makes enough camino. They're right. saying they're going in opposite directions. I understand, but we figured that out from before. I mean, that's not. You can figure that out. Just not. Like, not in this case. In this case, not? I would say. Well, if you if you go with kolpino shatapayno, go to yamin. That's then you. You keep going right. according to Rebekiva. You start from the the northeast. Which is to his right. If he walks straight into the Kaidish and he's standing yeah. right in front of Mizbeya, that's on his right hand. Correct. That's that corner. You go right. to the next one and you go round right. to the right, as right. as in Hakakus. Rabbi says he starts on the left side if he's looking at it straight. I understand it that. It goes around the opposite direction. Correct. I would have thought even if you start in the same place, you won't end where Rabbi starts. Which way is you he coming out? You would go to the right, to the right, to the right. Uh, does I understand? Rabbi Yosef is coming saying, into the Kaidish. He's coming into the Kaidish from the Eichel. Right. right. Rabbi Kiva says, if he's standing right in front of the Mizbeach now, he starts with his right hand and goes straight out. That's the corner Correct. he starts at. That's Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Yosef really says, no, he starts at the corner where his left hand really is. Right. Right. Correct. But I would think now that they go each go round to this in the same direction of a circle. They're saying no, they go opposite directions. Mm-hmm. Well, but Rebekiva, that's not the order that Rebekiva it says. goes to it the says. right, Rebekiva only goes to the left. But it says, Mikaren Mizrachis, Tzvainis, right, from the northeast, then he goes to the northwest. Which is straight ahead of him. Right. And then to the left, and then back. That's Rebekiva. Uh, that's so much was Yosei Aglili. Okay, whichever one. Aglili, sorry, yeah. Saying you can't figure it out from the first two lines. I mean, they gave you the order well, that they say to go. That way around. That way around, yeah. But the other yeah. way around is, is how does that work? And Rabbi Kiva, how does he work? What do you mean? He says, Rabbi Kiva says that you start from the, the southeast. The is doing this. Right, southeast. Right. Then you go to the southwest. So that's right. the other way. He's starting, sorry, he was starting on the left-hand side, and yeah. he's going further back, then right, then back. Correct. I'm saying, but you that, know... I mean, okay, it's well, opposite well, circles. Is, yeah. Well, that's what the Gemara's pointing out, but I think we could figure out what out there. Okay, whatever it is. Let's see. So the Kuliyama, Miha, Bahu, Karen, the Paga, Beresha, Loy, Ovid. Whichever it is, when the Kayan's on his way in towards the Mizbeah Chapnimi, he is not starting from the first corner he gets to it, that he gets to, right? According to, to Rebbe Kiva, he goes to the north, to the north, to the southeast. And according to Rebbe Yossi Aglili, he goes to the northeast. Whatever it is, it's not the first corner he hits. Right, Taima? So why? why? So Mashmul, Dama Krova, Yotza Elam he has to go out to the Mizbeach, Ad the Nafik Mikulay Mizbeach. 
until he goes past the entire Mizbeah. So we're learning out from the Pasuk that even though the, the first corner he hits, he should theoretically put the blood on that corner because Ein Mavir and Allah Mitzvahs, right? Which Gemara is going to discuss in a minute. But no, since the Pasuk says, V'yotza Ela Mizbeah, he has to go past the Mizbeah, meaning we sort of want him to go on like a, a recognizance mission to check out the Mizbeah before he starts smearing the So, wait, so the it's blood. not Ein Mavir and Allah Mitzvahs? So it's not a main Mavir and Allah Mitzvahs. At least that's what the Gemara seems to be saying now. Right? I don't understand this. He paid for the bar, and then he comes to talk to the army. It's almost 10 it o'clock, man. No more questions. Sorry. I'm, yeah, Rashi. Yeah. What's that? Let me finish the Gemara, and then we'll we'll have it. Right? Yeah. Well, the Rebbe, right? Anyway, so basically, but the point is, according to both Sheetas, he has to pass one side of the Mizbeah, so he can see the whole situation before he starts putting on the blood. Right? So the Gemara says... Um, so according to Rabbi Kiva, why doesn't he go um, to the right? Let's say they're having a machlaikis with, with Rami Bar Yecheskel, which we had a few times. Down Rabbi Yecheskel, Yam Shasa Shlaima, the Yam that Shlaima Melech made, Aymed Al Shnei Shneim Asar Bakar, right? Remember Yam Shasa Shlaima, that's how we know Pi, right? That's how we learned out the three to one ratio. If anybody remembers that from Erevin, right? So he made a yeah, he made the, the huge mikvah. mikvah. Right, he made a yeah. huge mikvah, right? And he he stood it on statues of twelve cows or oxen, right? Shloisha pinim to find three were facing the north. Shloisha pinim yama, three were facing the south. I'm sorry, west. Shloisha pinim night negva, three is going to the south. Shloisha pinim mizrach, and three are going to the east. Bayama Layam Ilamala and the 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 Yam, meaning his his bath, I guess, was on top of him, the Khala Kharaim Besa, and all the backs of the animals were facing towards the inside. So what whatever it is, what is it going to want with this Holomada? The Shakal Pina Shanta Pina Lo you el Derkim in the Mizra, because the Brisa describes it going in a circle, not circle, but a square always going to the right. So that tells you that every time you turn, you should turn to the right. So, so now, but here, Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi Yaisi Aglili are not saying, well, Rabbi Kiva is not saying that. So Gemara thinks, Mar Isli the Rabbi Yaisi Mar Lesli the Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yaisi Aglili holds of Rabbi Yaisi and Rabbi Kiva doesn't hold of it. So the Gemara says, the Kuliyama Islu the Rabbi Yaisi Everybody holds it, you do turn everything to the right. Here's what the Machloch says. Marsa or Yafin and Panam Michutz. We learn out the inside, right? Meaning by the Heichel um, from the outside, from the one from the big Mizbeach as in the Azara, right? And Memela that you have to turn everything to the right. Marsa or Yafin and Panam Michutz. We don't learn out the inside from the outside, right? And it's not Negeya too. Rami by Rami by Yecheskel's din is not Negeya, right? Um, because there, meaning the outer Mizbeach has a ramp, right? So therefore, that, that he has to figure out a way to walk totally around the Mizbeach and come back down on the other side of the ramp. But in the inner, the inner Mizbeach, we don't have that, right? So, fine. So then the Gemara says, Rabbi Kiva, right? Granted, Rabbi, Rabbi Kiva says, you don't learn out the inside or the outside. This is the Kasha, Iboi, Hachi Never, right? So if he wants, he could do it this way. If he wants, he could do it this way. Right? So why does he have to go to the left? Meaning, once you're not turning to the right, why are you saying that the Kohen Gadol has to go to the left? Let him do whichever way he wants. Why, why? It doesn't have to be in any specific order. Really, it should be the first one that he gets to is the one that he should do. Like we said, you're not, it's Eim Avir Nalamitzis. But my loy of it, so why why is he not doing the first corner that he hits? Because it says that he's to go out on the Mizbeach, Adinafik Mikulay Mizbeach, until he goes over the entire Mizbeach. The Kima the Yah Bahu Karen. And since he put it into that corner, Hadar Asilahu Karen, the the Chayev Lame Sabaresha. That then he goes back and he puts it, meaning he passed over the first corner that he was supposed to get to, right? 
So now he, he messed, he didn't mess it up at that. He, he was supposed to go to the first corner. He couldn't because he has to walk and survey the home is bad first. So then he does that and then he goes back to get to, to the other side, right? Um, no, okay, you know, we could stop because that's an, another shot in the machlok between the two. But anyway, so we're saying that Rabbi Kiva is saying that really should have gone to the first corner that he hit, but we can't do that because you need to go past the home is bad. So then what does he do? He, he does that for the, he goes to the second corner, then he cuts back to the first corner that he should have done. Okay, I hope it's uh, semi-clear. All right, we'll, we'll stop here. Yeah, all right, good tonight. Yeah. Okay, Akiva, what are you saying? Nothing. No, I figured it out. I, I got confused which way he was coming from. I forgot that he was coming from the Parishas, not from outside. Ah, it's easier. Isn't yeah. it amazing what a little mute can do? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't hear you say it the first time because in my head I was figuring it out. That's why I, I was fine with it the second time. I hear you. Yeah. That should call you. All right, I got to run to Myers. I got to run to Myers, so yeah. You have five minutes and then like, I don't know, after Myers? Nope. Probably nope. Uh-huh. not till 12, maybe in the car on the way, maybe. I'll see. Uh-huh. No, I have something you'll want to hear. I, I hear, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to avoid you. Just <laughs> No, I get that, but it's it's uh, what we've been discussing. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try. I'll try and, uh, I'll try and uh, see, depending on which phone call is coming. Okay, fine. All right.